In this video, I'm going to be going over the best cell phone plans for the new iPhone 7. Now the iPhone 7 is one expensive device. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus come in a variety of models and capacity. The iPhone 7 starts at 32GB for $649 and goes all the way up to 256GB for $849. The iPhone 7 Plus starts at 32GB for $769 and goes all the way up to 256GB for $969. No matter how you look at it, these phones are very expensive. So there are essentially three main ways to pay for these expensive new iPhones. The three ways are with the Apple iPhone upgrade program, 24 month carrier financing, or by buying the iPhone full price factory unlocked. In terms of the iPhone upgrade program and 24 month carrier financing, these are both monthly plans to pay for your phone. The Apple iPhone upgrade program starts at $32.41 a month, includes Apple Care, and you can upgrade to a new iPhone every year. With 24 month carrier financing, it starts at $27.04 per month, does not include Apple Care, which is why it's cheaper, and you can upgrade once you have paid off 50% of your device. However, with these two payment options, they are actually carrier locked. And what I mean by that is you can only use the iPhone on the four major networks, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile. In my opinion, this sucks. I strongly encourage you to pay full price and get a factory unlocked iPhone. This will allow you to use any carrier, any plan, it'll be cheaper long term, and you can upgrade whenever you want. Of course, the major downside is it is an expensive upfront cost. With that said, I'm going to be going over the two best plans on all of the major networks. One plan will be for the monthly financing options, which is the Apple iPhone upgrade program or 24 month carrier financing. And the other plan will be if you pay full price upfront to get a factory unlocked iPhone. First up are plans on the Verizon network. Verizon has you covered with the Verizon plan at $55 a month. You get unlimited talk, unlimited text, and two gigs of LTE data. If you pay full price, you can go with Total Wireless, which offers a great plan at $35 a month. You get unlimited talk, unlimited text, and five gigs of LTE data. Onto the AT&T network, and with monthly financing, you get the Mobile Share Advantage plan, which comes in at $60 a month for unlimited talk and text and three gigs of LTE data. If you pay full price, you can go with Cricket Wireless and get a great plan for $35 a month. This includes unlimited talking text with two and a half gigs of LTE data. Onto the Sprint network and you're getting a better choice plan with their monthly financing option. This plan is $50 a month and includes unlimited talking text with three gigs of LTE data. If you pay full price, you can get Ring Plus, which offers a great plan at $23 a month with unlimited talking text and two gigs of data. Now onto the T-Mobile network. With monthly financing, you're stuck with T-Mobile One, which is an unlimited everything plan for $70 a month unlimited talk and text with unlimited LTE data. If you pay full price, you can go with TPO Mobile and get a great plan for $28 a month that includes unlimited talk and text and two gigs of data. Now, you may have noticed the monthly financing plans tend to be more expensive than the full price plans. So if you pay full price up front, you'll save at a minimum of $480 over the course of just two years. So again, I strongly encourage you to pay full price for that new iPhone and get a cheaper off-contract plan to save money in the long run. Anyway, that wraps up this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.